In Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, the Displacer Beast is often described as a panther-like creature with a pair of tentacles at least 5 feet long protruding from between their shoulders. These tentacles end in large flat pads covered in sharp horn-like spikes, meant to latch onto prey from afar. The Displacer Beast has an AC of 13 and 85 hit points, with a move speed of 40 feet. They have a plus 4 in strength, a plus 2 in dex, a plus 3 in constitution, a negative 2 in intellect, a plus 1 in wisdom, and a negative 1 in charisma. They have dark vision up to 60 feet and a passive perception of 11. Similar to the Rogue's Evasion ability, the Displacer Beast has a trait called Avoidance, where when they make a saving throw that allows half damage on a success, they instead take no damage on a success and half damage on a failure. They also have the trait Displacement, which causes them to create a projection of themselves right next to where they're actually standing, imposing disadvantage on all attack rolls. If the beast does get hit, the trait deactivates until the end of its next turn, and this can also be disrupted when it's incapacitated or its speed is zero. It has a multi-attack in which it attacks twice with the tentacles, each with a range of 10 feet, a plus 6 to hit, and dealing 1d6 plus 4 bludgeoning damage and 1d6 piercing damage damage per strike, a per strike potential of 6 to 16, and an overall damage potential of 12 to 32. At lower levels, even one Displacer Beast can be dangerous to a party, but as a DM, I would personally have at least a couple of them in a pack, especially at mid-level. Like many other creatures, the power of the Displacer Beast comes from its passive traits. The half or no damage on saving throws renders many of the most powerful spells carried by your spellcasters partially useless, and the disadvantage on attacks can be devastating to melee attackers at lower levels, as they only get one attack per turn. I would run these similar to most bestial creatures, having them attack players that are giving them the hardest time as a priority. With the 10 foot reach of their tentacles, they should never have to be within 5 feet of your melee players, forcing your players to bring the fight to them, and possibly proccing opportunity attacks along the way. Also with this range, their effective distance that they can cover per turn becomes 50 feet, as they can move 40 and attack in 10. This forces any players that are attempting to flee to use their full movement and an action or bonus action, depending on their class, to move 60 feet away, which limits their action economy. I would have the Displacer Beasts attacking in pairs, with at least one pair on the range players and one pair on the melee. With the 10-foot range of their melee attack, the Displacer Beasts should not only be able to stay out of melee range, they should be able to get opportunity attacks on melee classes as they move to attack their pair. In an interview from 2005, Gary Gygax revealed that the original inspiration of the Displacer Beast was from the Coerl, a cat creature that starred in the short story Black Destroyer by A.E. Van Vaught, and was later introduced into the book The Voyage of the Space Beagle by the same author. The Black Destroyer is often heralded as the start of the golden age of science fiction, and the novel version takes the story and frames it as part of a longer expedition through the cosmos. The creature's appearance in Voyage of the Space Beagle describes it as an intelligent yet starving cat-like creature with spiked tentacles coming from between its shoulders. It pretends to be a simple, starving alien animal to lure the explorers into a false sense of security, and then stalks and attacks the passengers of the ship one by one. After killing and devouring several of the crew members, it's tricked by the rest into being launched out of the ship in a space lifeboat, and realizing that it'll starve to death, commits suicide. Funnily enough, there are several alien species in the Space Beagle book that attack the crew and attempt to lay eggs inside of them, a plot that is so close to that of the movie Alien that Van Vaught sued the production company for plagiarism and eventually settled out of court for $50,000. When comparing the fictional tale to the creature in D&D, we find that the descriptions are pretty similar. Both of them are panther-like creatures with spiked tentacles protruding from their backs. Where the comparison breaks down here is in their abilities and demeanor. The Kowul from the stories is a cunning, intelligent, and possibly even sapient creature that kills due to its never-ending hunger, while the Displacer Beasts is a large animal that hunts using its innate ability to avoid damage, as well as its two spiked tentacles as living makeshift spears. If you enjoyed that video, consider giving it a like and giving me a follow. And for more of my videos, you can find me on Twitch at Moglaroo, YouTube at Moglaroo Streams, and TikTok at Moglaroo Streams as well.